we didn't start off to have a war with Flash or anything else. We just made a technical decision that we weren't going to put the energy into getting Flash on our platform. We told Adobe, if you ever have this thing running fast, come back and show us, which they never did. And, uh, but, but we think we're not going to use it. And that was it. And we shipped the iPhone, and it doesn't use Flash. And it wasn't until we shipped the iPad, and it didn't use Flash, that Adobe started to raise a stink about it. We didn't raise a stink about it. We never mentioned the word Adobe or Flash or anything else. We, we like Adobe. We have a lot of common customers with CS, you know, the Creative Suite software and things like that. So we weren't trying to have a fight. We just decided not to use one of their products in our platform. And so, you know, they started to say a lot of bad things about us in the press and this and that, and it went on for months. And that's why I wrote Thoughts on Flash, was because we were trying to be real professional about this and weren't talking to the press about it. We didn't think it was a matter for the press. And we finally just said, enough is enough. We're tired of these guys trashing us in the press over this. And so we wrote down the reasons why, technically, we didn't choose Flash. And, and Flash looks like a technology that had its day, uh, but is really on, is waning. And HTML5 looks like the technology that's really on the ascendancy right now. And there's a lot of issues with that in terms of battery life and, you know, security and other things. But, but more importantly, um, HTML5 is starting to emerge. You know, th there's been an avalanche of people that have said, we're doing HTML5 video. And the video looks better, and it works better, and you don't need a plug-in to run it. And so while 75% of the video in the web may be in Flash, uh, you know, 25% going to 50% very shortly is also available in HTML.